So this is a review of the uh, Muse Audio Mini USB DAC. Um, wanted to, uh, for those of you that are trying to decide on a computer and, and relatively affordable um, DAC for your PC, this is it. Um, previously I was using uh, uh, the DAC built into my audio engine speakers and then I wanted to um, um, upgrade to integrate an amplifier but then the one I was looking at was the Yamaha WXA50 which does not come with a USB DAC built in so then I went about um, searching and scouting for a USB DAC that would work um, for my purpose and I found this little guy you can find it online for about 20 bucks or so which is relatively cheap um, when it comes to USB DAC um, you're going to see a lot of uh, more, I guess, what they call professional DACs in the uh, in the 100 plus range. Usually that's the range you find it. And um, the range below the 100, you're going to find um, these Chinese uh, made DACs, which um, some of them are better than others. But this one in particular, it's, it's quite good for the price. I mean, um, I'm quite happy with the result. I can't really tell any difference from any uh, distortion. And what I wanted to do is make sure I use the external DAC rather than the built-in one on the in, within the computer uh, to reduce the computer jitters and any noise that's in, introduced in the analog output as well as the computer electronic interference. So I want to show you what the uh, the inputs and output on this guy. Um, really, there's only one input. Um, there's a USB in right here, and it's a standard USB jack and everything else is output right that's all you need to know USB in optical out coaxial out headphone jack uh, this is out as well and an analog also has got a pair of uh, these RSA, RCA um, analog outputs and go ahead and plug in the USB cable from my PC uh, show you how it works So again you plug it in automatically lights up and the driver is on like then installed on your uh, PC. So I want to see if I could connect uh, this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the optical out that I'm using um, on here to now put um, digital optical onto my uh, Yamaha WXA50 amp, integrated amp. See when I plug in it, on Mackie sound comes out. Um, the cable I have, these just a standard uh, optical cable I picked up from Amazon. Just gonna play some sound, turn the volume up a little bit so you can hear. So as you can see, um, sound on Mackie comes out. It's quite. Um, self-explanatory, easy to set up, takes you maybe a few minutes to set up, plug in USB, pick an output of your choice, coaxial digital, optical digital, uh, and then we have analog on this end. The one thing I wanted to point out is on the uh, headphone out, it's um, basically full power. So I'm going to plug in this headphone. One thing to know is even with a headphone plug-in, it does not cut the music out like some of your other um, devices. So you can play on the headphone as well as the digital out concurrently. But these are at the full volume. So you really want to control the volume um, from your within your, your PC. And then there's going to be uh, the device itself, you can adjust the volume control within your computer and that will adjust these headphones if you want to use these as a headphone amp but personally I'm using it to uh, bypass the internal DAC on the computer to use this external DAC but not bad for uh, $20 um, Muse Audio DAC thank you